Hey, how you doing? My name is Pokey Unknown, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be having a fun pack battle of sorts. So what I have here in front of me is two Lost Origin, two Silver Tempest, two Astro Radiance, and two Fusion Strike packs. What we're going to do is we're going to rip them open, see what we get, and then we're going to do the same thing on the online game version. So Pokemon Trading Guard Card Game Live, I believe that's what it's called, and see what has better pulls. I am not sure how the pull rates compare um, from the physical versions to the online version. I, I feel like, uh, from me playing it, I feel like I get way more hits online when opening packs on there, but I am not sure. And we are going to put that to the test today. I wish I had a bit more packs to open, but these were the only ones that I had on me. I ordered some like a month ago. I ordered a bunch a month a month ago. Some Chilling Rain and some more of these like um, uh, Sword and Shield Era sets. But this is all I have right now. So that is what we're gonna do. Without further ado, let's get right into Lost Origin. So in Lost Origin, we want the Giratina, the big Giratina V, the Aerodactyl. We'll take a Pikachu. I mean, that's that's really all. There's not a whole lot, to be honest. Just really that one chase card that's gonna have all the value. And then of course the um, Aerodactyl as well is gonna have a bit of value to it. So let's hop right into the opening here. Starting out with a Lost Origin. Not my favorite set, but it's okay. Here's the code card, if anyone cares. I actually did not pull out any sleeves for this, so I'll have to get them if we do get any hits. Box of Disaster, Jinx, Maku, Guy, Bronzer. Oh, maybe I'm tripping, but I feel like I'm seeing something shining back there. That might just be Reflection, so I'm not going to get my hopes up. Poliwag, Radiant Steelix. Wow, I, I have never pulled this card before. Look at my man, yellow and, and all radiant. And a regular Politoed. That's that's a pretty cool card, I'll take it. I mean, obviously not great, but I think I think it deserves a sleeve. So give me one second to sleeve it up here. Cause I've, I've never pulled this card personally. I don't know about you guys, but it's pretty cool. So that is the first hit. Here, we'll have it in the background. First hit, you know, better than nothing. On to the second Lost Origin uh, pack. Okay. With the Giratina on the front there. What are your guys' favorite cards in this set? There are some decent ones. There is, I mean, I don't know, like I said, I, I honestly prefer the Aerodactyl over, over the, the Giratina. There's a cool um, Mew and Pikachu uh, gold cards in this set, I believe. So there are some cool ones, but value-wise, nothing too insane. There's a code card for you. Four to the front. What do you guys think? This is this kind of random, but what do you guys think of the pack trick? Do you guys like doing it, or you just get straight to the juice? Personally, I mean. I don't like doing it. I just like seeing if I get a hit or not. But it is cool to see these other cards as well. Because there are some cool artworks and stuff like that. Like this. Look at Machop there. I wonder, is that... Did they? Is that like real? Is that like an actual... Never mind. Anyways. Oh, great. I think I had to spoil the back. Anyways. Oh, look at that Pikachu. That is a cute Pikachu. Eating his... What is that? A strawberry of, of sorts. That is a cute card. I am setting that... To the side. I want to... I don't know. That is a cute card. For the reverse, we have... Rhyperior and the hit Polyrath. That's too sad. That's, that's too bad. Okay. Still have that hit, but we have six more packs to go. So don't be too alarmed. On to Silver Tempest. Alright. Ah, of course we want that Lugia. I would be happy with that Unknown V. You know, you know match the... The channel name, which is fun. Um, although my unknown is spelled different without the K, or the game's unknown is without the K. Um, Rayquaza, Serena, there, there's a, you know, some decent hits in the set. Again, not my favorite set. 
Fun fact, I got this pack free from GameStop because if you don't know, if you join their uh, month or yearly subscription thing, um, you can get a free pack every every um, there's the energy every month. You get a five dollar coupon every month, so that's how I got one of these packs. Candice, Proceed, Smeargle, Esper. Oh, look at him. He stitched out of, he's like crocheted or something. That's cool. Dratini, Ariadosa is the reversed. And the final card. Oh, 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 I messed it up. Fion, I don't care about you. You are disgusting. You disgust me. That's fine. Sorry, I'm organizing my bulk here. I keep hitting it. All right, on to the second Silver Tempest. So far, this opening has not been going super well, but that's only three packs. We still got a, a what do we got? Four more, five more, and we have the online ones. So as far as the physical uh, cards go and the physical packs go, nothing too good, which is a bummer, but we will see. I would much rather have the physical cards than the online cards because physical ones are cooler. And can I open this pack, please? I am struggling here. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. There we go. I don't know why that was so hard. I swear, some of these packs are just impossible to open. And there's a code card. It's upside down. Deal with it. We'll do four cards to the front for our last Silver Tempest pack here. With, ooh, upside down. Hello. Lance. Fletchinder, Clang, Esper again, Togdemaru, if I said that right, Stunfisk, Clink, Dratini. Ooh! And for a, our trainer gallery, we got Braxen, I believe, with the trainer, I believe that is Serena, who also has the full art uh, trainer card. This is a pretty, pretty card. I also I enjoy the look of the Pokemon and the look of uh, the trainer as well. And we have whoever this is, useless. But so far, we have two, you know, semi-hits, I guess. Two reverse hits. Nothing crazy. But let's sleep that up. I doubt this is worth anything. I mean, you know, maybe three bucks, I would guess, at most. I'll have the price on screen for you. You know, hopefully it's worth a thousand. I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with a thousand. So out of the four packs, we have two hits. And we got four more packs starting off the second half with the Astro Radiance here. Ripper open. I don't know if you guys saw, but my last, not my last video, one of my last couple videos, I opened, unfortunately, I opened some scam packs and I got scammed and opened some fake packs. It sucked, or more resealed packs, but that's okay. Cause we're gonna get a crazy hit here and recoup all of our losses with this one pack. Ooh, look at that peel. That was nice. Okay, out of this set, of course, we do want them a champ. There are some better ones. Oh, and I spoiled it. I think black is good for the code card. I don't remember because I never actually look at the back because I don't want to spoil it. But let's just pray that black is good. And we have the metal, I believe. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know the names of the energies. Most of them, I just kind of look at them and say, okay, it's that one. Drifblim. Ponyard. Eevee, Eevee sleeping in the in the forest, I guess. Heracross, Teddy Ursa, Mantine. For the reverse, oh, oh, we got Magnemite, but look, what's behind that? We got some kind of V. Please be the Machamp, the Palkia, the Dialga, the Starmie, or the Mr. Rhyme, Galarian Mr. Rhyme, with the Fusion Strike in the top right. I don't like that. I am not happy about that. Okay, but it is a hit. And we take hits of all all shapes and sizes. So this is our, our first official hit in the hollow slot, not counting our two reverses here. Honestly, so far, the best hit is definitely this one. Um, but we still got three more packs. So don't leave just yet, because we are about to pull a, a, um, a good card. Because I want to beat the online version. I want these fiscal packs to pull through here. So far, honestly, out of the five packs we've opened, th 
three meh hits. I feel like that's that's fair, you know. Unfortunately, the hit rates on on these packs, just in general, aren't crazy. You know, you aren't gonna get a hit every single pack, unfortunately. That's Pokemon. You gotta spend like fifty bucks to get, you know, ten dollars worth of cards back. All right, there's the code card. It's upside down. Screw you. One, two, three. Oh, four. Almost messed up that. All right, what do we got? We got the fire, the fire red, Hisuian Overquill, Kamaldo, oh wait, no, Kamado, sorry, Octo Owl, Magnemite, Ralts, Hisuian Sneasel. Look at him, look at mischievous, super mischievous. What is he up to, or she? Interesting. Number 215, Misdrevious, whoa. Mischievous is acting mischievous. Or mischievous. God, it's confusing. Okay, anyways. Barboach. Ooh, and for the trainer gallery, we got a Hoot Hoot. That is a pretty card. It's super simple, but I'm, I love the art style. Just super simple with the trainer. I cannot tell you his name, but I am enjoying that. Along, ooh, with the Hollow Keldeo. I got one of these as a promo, I believe, from my last pack opening video. I believe we opened a Verizon V-Box and this came with it or something. But this is definitely the better hit. We will sleeve both of them just because they are both technically hits. So out of these six packs, we have opened, we have five hits. Five hits, hits, not hits, reverse hits. That's okay. I'm loving these trainer galleries. I hope they never stop. They always got to spice it up a little bit. It's a bit more rewarding, you know. It makes you less depressed when you open up packs, which is always a good thing. On to the last two packs here of Fusion Strike. Personally, I think this is an underrated set. I think there's some great Mews and Espeons and those Gengar cards, of course. There's, there's probably like 10 good cards that I'd be happy pulling. Um, I guess any card I'd be happy pulling, but 10 cards I would really want. So let's rip it open and see what we got. Right along the seam there. There's that. And four to the front. Okay. Fighting energy. Schoolgirl. Look at her. She's looking innocent. Luxio. Mandibuzz, Makutita, Panpour, Sawaddle, Skarmory, Jinx, Galarian Meowth, and Polosand. Okay, Meowth is always cool though, especially a Galarian Meowth. I'm not going to sleeve him, but I do enjoy that card. The final pack, the final pack of the physical opening. Let's rip it along the seam. Come on, last pack. Let's let's get a crazy hit. Let's get that Gengar eating the the town. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Leaf. Barascuda. Bugcatcher. Wigglytuff. Clefki. Pansage. Wooloo. Pancham. Duramok. And for the verse, Eevee. And a Vicavolt. That is disappointing. Okay. Well, these are the hits out of the eight packs we opened here. Starting off with a Braxen. And then the Radiant Steelix. The mm, Galarian Mr. Rhyme. The Keldeo. You do not count. You are ugly and stupid. And the Hootoot. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. So, with the first half done, let's see if Pokemon uh online live whatever it's called let's see if the polls can beat these polls here see you in three two one bye okay and we are back in game in the home of pokemon trading card game alive the somewhat brand new uh new adaptation of the virtual game here um as Everyone knows, I would hope, there was online, which was the old version of the game, and now there's live, which is the new 
fancier version. It is in beta right now, so there are a lot of issues and bugs going on. But as you can see, I input, I believe, eight code cards, two of each of the packs that we opened. And let's take a look and see if we get some better pulls or worse pulls. I would be okay with some better pulls because I'll be honest, I don't know. I wasn't super thrilled about the pulls from earlier, although they were decent. So let's go ahead and open these packs. If it will load. All right. Starting with Lost Origin. Look how easy this is. I don't have to deal with the, with the trick or the energy or anything. I just click. Zoru. I, first of all, before I get into the rest of this, I am terrible with pronouncing these names. Okay, I didn't watch the TV show or or any any movies or I played the games like honestly 15 years ago. So I am just like super mentally delayed. So I'm struggling with these words, but I know I know most of the common ones just um from other people saying them. Anyways, on to Clefairy. Haunter, he's always a cool Pokémon. For the reverse, we get Mind Fu and the final card Electros. Okay. That is not a foil. We don't like that. It's okay. On to the next Lost Origin pack. Fickle Attack. Oh, wait. Nope. That's not the name. Inky. Sorry. I got distracted. Litwick. Sawana. And. Oh, my. The Gold Pikachu VMAX. That is like the one of the best hits. That's like probably like the third best hit in the reverse slot. Wow. Okay, of course, this would never happen to me in real life. Never in a million years would I get this lucky on the second pack. Okay, wow. I mean, value-wise, if this were a real card, that blew the other eight packs that we just opened out of the water. Wow, okay, let's see our final card here for the Lost Origin and Adele Fox V just to top it off. Okay, already, this is amazing. Now... Like I mentioned earlier, I feel like the um, hit rates are a bit raised compared to the actual IRL packs. I'm not, I'm not like too certain, but that's definitely what it feels like. And just judging off of that, <laughs> that might be the case. But we still got six more packs left of this uh, online opening here. On to Silver Tempest. What do we got? Crow Gunk. Capturing Aroma. The reverse is Ralts and Unknown V. There we go. We'll take any unknown. Match the channel theme here. Unknown V with the shady stamp and victory symbol. Honestly, I, I've i never played an unknown card. I don't know if they're good or bad or what unknowns are good or bad. Um, I don't know if that's random, but I've never played an unknown card. I don't know if they've ever been good, like ever been meta or if they are meta now. Um... I've been sticking with my Zacian Zamazenta V deck. That's been pretty good. I know that's also kind of slightly outdated, but I've been enjoying that. I don't know. Has anybody else been actually playing the game, the card game? Because I've been I've been having fun. It gets repetitive, but it's enjoyable, especially changing up the deck and everything. Onto the reverse. Lopunny with Ooh, the final card, Crocodile. Now honestly, I don't think I'm gonna count these regular hollow cards as hits. So, so let's see. The first eight packs of the the beginning of the opening, we had a we had five hits, I believe. And if you don't count the hollow, we had four hits because we had the two trainer galleries and two V's. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> it's okay. Onto the Astro Radiance, Rowlet, Tedri, Undefined Fossil. Silene, did I say that right? Ooh, Origin Form Dialga V. Wow, I have not seen this card. That is, wait, I think this is one of the better cards. I, I'm pretty sure this is one of the better cards in the set. Like, like top ten. Okay, let's. Okay, okay, we'll take it. So far, two two pretty good hits. I could be wrong about that. One definitely good hit, and then one probably trash v card that we got and then that card as well which you know someone fact check me i'm pretty sure that's a good card anyways on to the last astro radiance pack to switch cart 
I have a question about the Switch cart, if anybody knows. So I've been playing the game, like I said. Is this just straight up better than the normal Switch card? Or is there like... Because to me, what, you switch the Pokemon? Oh, it has to be basic Pokemon. Okay, I'm stupid. Ignore that. Yon Mega, Reggie Gigas. Gig, Re yeah, I said that right. And the final card, Wire Deer V. Okay. Have we gotten a hit every pack? I think besides one or two, we've gotten a hit. Wow, okay. Okay, the first Fusion Strike pack. Let's just go straight to the reverse here. Sent a Scorch with the Hollow Glarian Obstagoon. I believe I've pulled this card a few times. He's an interesting looking Pokemon, but we don't want cards like that. We want shiny. We want, we want super shiny cards. Okay, Growlithe. Sea Waddle. Quick Ball. Reverse. The Lynx. And the final card of the opening is a non holographic Electros. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, so let's take a look at these pulls that we got here. We got the Origin Form Dialga V. That is a pretty card, and I'm pretty sure that's one of the best pulls here. Okay, let's take at you. You know, that's that's actually pretty cool. Pokemon, I, I doubt it's, you know, super playable or value valuable but that's cool and then we got the del fox v that's pretty fancy not really but i'll take it anything else oh okay we'll go to the unknown v here the unknowns are pretty cool i did name my channel after that so i am happy about this card and then the best card that we pulled out of the opening the pikachu v max i want to say this is worth like 30 bucks maybe we can put the price on screen. Um, okay. So, wow. Um, so, how many hits is that in total? One, two, three, four, five. Five hits versus, I think, the four IRL. So, with that being said, I mean, I think we know the winner. It's pretty close, but I think the winner is, is online. The online version has better pull rates now obviously we don't have a, a we don't have a giant sample size so to be honest it, it's you know who knows i'll have to open up like a thousand packs of each and then we'll see the true results but based off that you know we got some pretty decent pulls off of both so i am okay with that um yeah so Next video, I will be doing something crazy that you'll never expect. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be crazy. So make sure to subscribe, like, comment if you want anything specific, any cool videos you want to recommend. And, um, yeah, subscribe. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, it's my person, by the way. Look at him. Her. Look at her. Isn't she dripped out? She's pretty cool. Okay, see ya.